Welcome back to another episode of Salty Mechanics. Very pleased to see that you are watching. It is getting colder. The season is definitely over. There's a lot of noise coming from the, the forklift guys over there, I'm sorry. So now I'm in a sailboat and it's on land. I need to winterize the engine and make sure that nothing in this boat freezes. That means a lot of fresh water systems, heaters and uh, pumps and toilets and all of it. And now it started raining as well. Let's go to work. So, heaters and pumps for the freshwater system in these boats are located in different places. So very often I have to sort of look around uh, to see if I can find all the different things I need to winterize. So now I located the heater and the freshwater pump in here, which is not necessarily logic. So here you have a storage room and then if you move this you will see the heater and the pumps and all of that. So I'm get this out. <laughs> it's quite far down there actually. So what I need to do now is basically to get down in this hole and uh, suck all the fresh water out from the heater and uh, the pumps and all of it. I want all the water out of the boat. So that's my challenge. And to do that, I use this sort of, it's like a vacuum cleaner only for water. So when you turn it on, you can suck all the water out from this end right here. So that's the heater. And down here you have the pump for the fresh water. So I'm gonna disconnect the hoses and uh, get rid of all the water. So that is basically the essence of what I'm doing, getting water out of the boat.
So now I'm in a C ray. I'm basically just running from bolt to bolt now, doing the same things so that nothing freezes. But we got plenty of time to talk more about this stuff later. What we don't have a lot of time for is wakeboarding. <laughs> yes, you heard right. Powell, he has been wanting to do this for a long time. He's been in the army and he's got giant gigantic balls I'm sure he's one of the tough guys I'm not gonna be doing this now it's way too cold but he is and he has never done it before and I am quite curious will he be able to do it we'll see I'm gonna bring the drone and I'm gonna bring the camera and we're gonna take Sondra's bow out so let's just do it right now all right So underneath the staircase you have a small Yanmar engine. So winterizing this engine is now on the agenda. Normally I would do a service at the same time but I'm losing time actually. So I got so many jobs left and winter is coming so my plan is to winterize a couple of these engines now and then go back later and have more time to do a proper service. So winterizing this engine is really all about making sure that the salt water part of the system doesn't freeze. You have coolant or fresh water mixed with coolant on the engine at all times. So that's okay hey that's no problem just like you do on your car but in your car you have air to cool down the engine and that water and here you use salt water and they all meet in the heat exchanger of course they don't mix but they sort of go past each other <laughs> like you would on the highway and then uh, the salt water which is colder cools down the fresh water that is on the engine so that's sort of the way this works so my plan now is to just start up the engine and then get that coolant through the system and then out back with the exhaust so that's basically 
uh, what I'm gonna do right now and that's basically what I do on all the engines and of course the systems varies a little bit sometimes it's complicated to to get that coolant through the system if you don't have a seawater filter or stuff like that so it varies but on this engine it's quite easy <laughs> So what makes this job a little bit stressful is that if you don't winterize everything um, to your best ability, you might have problems because the hoses are sometimes made of plastic and that's no problem when you're sailing in the Caribbean. But here that can be a major problem because that plastic can easily crack if you have water left in uh, the hoses. So <laughs> not only that, but all the hoses are, of course, uh, laid uh, behind all the panels here all the way across the boat uh, so if you want to get to them to fix them uh, it could be a lot of work <laughs> so it's all about doing a good job now so that we don't have any problems when spring arrives and the customer just wants to get the boat on water and start using it so this boat has a shower pump which is very nice to have so when you get water down here you can turn on the pump right here and that pump is now full of water so i'm going to put some coolant in it and of course you have the toilet so there's a lot of water in there i've learned to close the lid before I start pumping because <laughs> if you don't you can get this splash of toilet water in your face and uh, that's not something you would enjoy unless you're very very special So I noticed that this regulator on the heater uh, doesn't really work and you're supposed to be able to open and close it but when I turn the wheel around nothing happens. So you kind of want this regulator to work uh, because uh, it regulates the amount of hot water uh, you get through the system. So you want to be able to turn this wheel around and, and regulate that but now I think it's closed all the time actually. So now the fog has lifted and the sun is shining on my face and it's just one of those days, one of those really good days that I want to remember when rain and snow is pouring down here. Ta noen fine dronebilder jeg kan bruke i YouTube da. Ja, ja, ja. Jeg holder på, holder på.
that's all we have time for in this episode of Salty Mechanics. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode just as much as I did. I really want to say a big thank you to you guys, especially you who have been watching since the very beginning, constantly and always writing and giving me good feedback in the comment section. It means, really, it means a lot to me. So thank you so much for that. Now I guess I'm just going to sit here and do a little bit of office work and you probably have things to do as well. So go do it and I will see you next time for more adventures down here at the docks of Norway. All right. <laughs>